Hey dear fashion bosses, how are you doing today? Right, in today's class, we are going to be learning how to make this beautiful fitted kimono jacket with double circle sleeve. Perfect in seam finishing. So if this is what you like to learn how to make, stay to the end of this class. But whilst at that, do not forget to subscribe and tap on the bell so you get notified each time we drop a new video. My name remains Faith Abraham. Alright, let us go straight to the crossing table. As you can see, I already have my piece, okay, already folded and some of my lines already rolled out. But of course, I'm going to carry you along on what these lines are, okay? So this line you are seeing right here, this very first one. This one is a starting line, okay, where all our markings will be starting from, all right? This line here, from here, okay, from, so this we can also refer to as a shoulder line, okay, that's where all our markings will be starting from. From here to here is the bust point, okay? From the shoulder line to this line is on the bust point. From the shoulder line to this line is the waist line, okay? From the shoulder line again, so this line, this very one, this very one, is the hip line okay and then from the shoulder line so this one this last line here this one is the um, length of the jackets okay hope you understand all right so I haven't um carried you along on what this lines represent we are just going to go straight right up to um including our uh, circumferences and cutting drafting our neckline checking up marking our necklines and shoulder slope and every other um dimension that we require for this project okay please kindly know that i am cutting the back piece and the front piece together okay when we are done doing all of this tracking we are going to separate them at a point and do a bit of modification to where necessary and on what panel okay so right here on this starting line okay this starting line we are going to be marking a neckline so the depth the um, the width of the neckline, okay, for both pieces, both the front panel and the back panel, we are going to be using a three inches. Okay, that is it. Then the depth of the neckline for the front panel, we are going to be using a three inches. Okay, three inches. All right, three inches. The depth for the back panel for the neckline. The back panel right now we're going to be using one inch okay and then we are going to connect the lines this is for the back panel so after doing that we're going to curve it so we are covering right now for the front panel although this neckline for the front panel we will end up not using it but for the purpose of this class let's just do the needful and then for the benefit of those who this might just be their first time so they understand in total what we are trying to do here so this is the back neckline and this is the front neckline so we are going to go ahead right now to measure our shoulder line so our shoulder line our shoulder measurement is 15 inches okay so we're going to divide that 15 inches by two it's going to give us 7.5 and then we're also going to go ahead to add a 0 0.5 inch to 8 which will make it a total of 8 inches okay that's what we have here and then we are going to draw our arm line our arm -hole, arm -hole line is the measurement of your bust divide um divided by six okay so the measurement of our bust is 42 inches so if we divide it by six yes yeah, so if we divide it by six 42 divided by six we are going to have seven and then you go ahead to add either one inch or 1.5 inches to it to get your arm o line okay so if we add 1.5 inch to it it's going to make it a total of 8.5 inches that is this is the best way of getting your arm o line okay your arm o line your arm o measurement for adventure you've been having or finding difficulty doing that okay so we are going to go ahead to mark this just trying to confirm my measurements around here, bringing down my shoulder measurements to that line, making sure that it is 8 inches, okay? So that is it. So we are going to go ahead right now to get our shoulder slope. 
then we are going to come down here by one inch and then connect it to our neckline all right this one inch that we just deducted on to make our shoulders look we're going to come back here and add it to our shoulder line to our ample line so we are not in shots hope you understand okay so this is our new ample line we are no longer using this one okay so i haven't done that we are going to go ahead right now to impute um circumferences like our bust points our under bust points and all of those so i said earlier that our bust point our bust measurements is um is 42 inches okay so you are going to divide that 42 inches by four so if you buy 42 i'm sorry about the noise please my kids are here kindly pardon me so if you divide 42 inches by four you are going to have um 10.25 10.5 okay let's be sure 42 divide four you are going to have 10.5 okay it's imperative you learn how to use your calculator at some point okay it does not make you any less professional okay so we have 10.5 we're going to go ahead to add two inches to this 10.5 all right because we're also going to be you know turning um this piece with aligning so need some form of inches so our under bust is um our under bust is 37 inches all right so on the bus is 37 inches so we're going to divide 37 divide 4 it's going to give you 9.25 9.25 okay and then you're also going to go ahead to add a two inches to it for your seam allowance so we're coming down to the waistline right now the waistline is the waist measurement is 40 inches so you divide 40 inches by 4 you're going to be having 10 inches okay they're also going to go ahead to add two inches to it right hope you're understanding what we are doing here so we are coming down now to the hip line the hip measurement is for the three inches if we divide for the three inches by four we are going to be having a 10.75 inches okay 10.75 inches plus two inches for seam allowance and then we are also going to bring whatever we have here to the length of the dress okay So we're going to go ahead right now to connect all of the scarves together. So this is what we have was connected we are going to come down to the ample and then connect our curves our ample curve. so for the back for the back ample we are just going to place a ruler this way okay and connect it this is for the back ample for the front ample we are going to go for the midpoint of our ample line 8.5 so we are looking for if you divide 8.5 by 2 you are going to have 4.25 so this is the midpoint so at this midpoint, we are going to come in by either 0 0.5 or 0 0.75. Okay. This is to prevent a form of um, bulge and bulky SS fabric around the ample area. Okay. So that is it. This is for the front ample and then this is for the back ample. So basically we are done with the drafting of this or... Um, cutting of this pattern right about now we are going to cut it separate it and then come back to modify the front piece okay so we are going to cut the back ample first before cutting the front ample
Also cut the back neckline first, okay? So this is it. We're going to remove the back piece. Okay? And then come back to cut the front ample. So this is the front sample. We are also going to go, we are also going to do some form of modification around this front piece, okay? We're going to do some modification. But before I do the modification, I will have to use it to cut my lining first, okay? I'm also going to go ahead to infuse my, my um, interfacing, um, paper stay, and then um, air stay. I'm going to infuse it to the fabric to give it a form of you know, firmness, you know, it's a jacket, okay? So I'm going to do that both on the lining and on the main piece, and then I will come back and do the little modification. This is SD. And this is the paper stay, okay? I'm going to infuse the SD and paper stay on the fabric and infuse only the paper stay on the lining. Whatever we have here, you're just replicating it on your lining and cutting out, basically. And then I'll come back to us and do the modification that is necessary. All right, guys. So I'm done infusing my my stay, my um yes, my paper stay and my stay to my fabric. And then this is the lining. Okay, I infuse the paper stay to it, like I mentioned earlier. This is the main fabric. I infuse the paper stay and and stay to it, so I can get the kind of firmness that I require. Okay. So right about now, we are going to introduce our darts. Okay, we didn't do that earlier. It's because I wanted to achieve this infusion first before um, doing that, okay? So we are going to measure from the shoulder line. This is the breast point or the bust point. And then we are going to go down by one inch after the bust point, okay? Which is here. One inch after the bust point. Then the bust span which is also known as the nipple to nipple is eight inches we're going to divide that eight inches by two it's going to give us four inches and then we're going to add a 0 0.5 inch inch to it to make it a total of 4.5 inch okay so from this part now we're going to measure 4.5 inches which is here and then from this part now we are going to measure from this one inch after the bust line we are going to come down by 10 inches okay we're going to measure 10 inches that is where the dart is going to end all right 10 inches which is here okay we're going to confirm our bust band measurements here okay that is it and then we are going to roll our marks so this is where our bust our, our what do you call it our dart is going to be okay so i haven't done this right now I want this dart line to also reflect reflect on my lining. So I'm going to fold it into so this way, but on the dart line, okay? And then I'm going to iron it down so that it reflects both on my lining and on the other side of my main fabric, okay? So this is what we are going to do. So I'll just iron it properly so that my lines can reflect, my dart line can reflect where I want it to reflect, okay? So this is where my dart line is. Hope you can see. It's reflecting properly. So when I'm going to sew, I don't have to look for it all over the place. This is it here also. Okay. I don't have to look for it or be lost. So you can see our 10 inch is intact, our 10 inches. So I reproduce it here also. So 
So this just make the work very quick and easy for me. I don't have to be looking for where my dad should be and where it shouldn't be. Just confirming that the line didn't get to reflect on this part properly. Okay, so I have it. So I haven't done that. We are going to go ahead right now to do another alteration on this front part. This right now is the neckline, you remember? We didn't get to cut it out. Okay, we didn't get to cut it out earlier. This is the neckline, you remember, for the front panel. Okay, and this is our under bust. So we are going to cut this part away. Remember, it's a kimono jacket. It does not have a button on the front part, okay? And there is another fabric that is attached to the front part. So we are going to cut this part off, this front part off, and then replace it with another fabric. Okay? So we are going to measure, remember the neck width is 3 inches. That's what we use for the neck width, 3 inches. So we'll come down to this, this under bust line and measure 2 inches here. Okay? two inches and then at the bottom of the dress or the garment we'll also measure two inches we are going to cut off this part and replace it with another fabric okay so i'll just use my ruler i'll use my ruler now and connect i'll connect to these two inches and then take it down I just did a little curve here i don't want it to be too straight and then from this point now i'm going to use my straight ruler and connect it down okay so we're going to cut this part out and replace it with another fabric hope you understand what i did here I placed my ruler on a neck weight where we have the three inches neck weight and then I connected to my under bust okay my under bust here we marked two inches and then down to the end of the garments two inches and then we are just going to cut it out so here we are so this that we've cut up right now we are going to replace it with another fabric okay we're just going to So as I was cutting, I left a 0 0.5 inch seam allowance, you know, if you can notice it, okay? Okay, guys, so this is the fabric that we're using to replace the part that we cut out from the front piece, okay, this part, okay? So it's just a straight fabric, a straight cut out, okay? The same amount that we cut out of here. So we're going to fold it this way, like this, okay? and sew it back here so it's just a straight fabric straight fabric straight straight fabric it's measuring 4.5 inches okay 4.5 inches on four that's five inches but on four is 2.5 okay so i'm going to fold it this way i'm going to infuse my interface in just the same way we did on the fabric my stay and my paper stay on it will get the same amount of firmness all right so it's also measuring from the top of the fab from the shoulder part down to the end of the garment the same length okay although i have a little beyond the the the, the length when i'm done i'm cut off the excess so that's just it basically okay so we're going to go ahead right now to do the stitching but before we do that the same way we did our darts for the front panel in the same way you are still going to do your darts for the back panel okay this is the back panel this is the back panel so on the back panel 
I have both the lining and the main fabric here. I like doing both together so they are in sync. One is not some, and the other one is accurate and one is not accurate. So from the shoulder, so from the shoulder line, I'm going to come down by nine inches. This is the back panel by nine inches. And then from the nine inches, I'm going to measure 10 inches, okay? Which is, yeah, that is where that we get to. And then we'll do, take a uh, bust to bust, nipple to nipple measurement, which is 4.5 inches, okay? 4.5 inches. I'll connect the line and then I will fold it like I did for the front panel and then I'll iron it to give me my line. So this is the that's for your back panel. Then another thing you must note is that your lining has to be a little shorter than your main fabric, okay? Your lining has to be a little shorter than your main fabric. So I'm going to reduce my lining by either two or three inches. So this totally depends on you and depends on the amount of the fabric you have, okay? I'm going to reduce mine. So please you do also the same to your main fabric. So this is my back panel right now. We are going to start the joining and the sewing process. Okay. As you can see, my lining is shorter than my main fabric. Okay. So I'm going to join the then start the sewing process right about now. Just trying to unpin the fabric. So I'll place my fabric this way. Open up my fabric. This is the main fabric. Okay. I open it up this way. And then you take in your darts from the part where we measured. Okay, you take in your darts, take in your darts, you do the same to your lining, okay? Take in your darts. Firstly, after doing that, so I'm going to take my darts. I'm going to take my darts like this, I already explained that earlier. So after doing that, so I fold my fabric this way and then I'll sew my darts. So, so after doing that, I'll do it to both sides. Right? So I'll open the fabric this way. This is the back panel. Whatever we do to the main fabric is what we'll do to the lining. So I'll bring my front panel, trying to unpin it. Okay? So I open up my back panel this way, okay? I pick one side of my front panel and then I place it like this. Okay, I place one of the piece like this, all right? And then I'll sew it down, okay? So the M. I'll pick the other piece. Don't forget the front panel now have become two because we cut out the middle part which we are going to replace with another fabric that I explained to you earlier. So pick the other piece of the front panel, place it like this, okay? Place it like this and then I will also sew it down, okay? After doing that, I will come over to the shoulder area, arrange it properly and then I will stitch it down. Okay, I will stitch it down, come to this other side, and also stitch it down. All right. So whatever we do to this front, to this main fabric, so when we do all of the stitching, then it means that we are going to have one piece of jacket at this point, one piece, no longer separated piece, okay? So whatever we do to this main fabric, we'll also replicate it on our lining. So I'll just go and um, stitch mine down and then come back to tell you the next thing to do, okay? All right, guys, so I'm done joining my pieces together. As you can see, this is the main fabric, okay? Also went ahead to iron it, and then this is the lining. I iron both of them properly after joining the sides and the shoulders, okay? See, our jacket is taking form, or it has taken form already. So the next thing for us to do right now is to introduce our collar. Remember this piece I showed you earlier? Okay, I also told you that I was going to um, infuse my interfacing on it. This is it, okay? So we are going to bring it. This collar, 
okay you know it's two inches when we folded it it was 2.5 inches when we opened it was five inches so i split it into two okay leaving us with just 2.5 inch single so i i i it's no longer doubled it's no longer on fold so i sewed one on the main fabric okay on the main fabric round about it the front part i sewed it through the neckline brought us back to the front and then back to the m okay this is it and then i also did the same on the lining please take notes it is very important this is really going to help you okay i also did the same on the lining this is it okay this is it see that it is different from the lining this is the joining okay i did the same on the lining okay i sewed it all the way okay into the neck area okay and then all the way down to the m of the lining so right about now it will be very very easy for you to turn so what you do you just place your main fabric open up your main fabric this way open up your lining okay and then place it like this lining i mean right parts of your lining facing the right parts of your fabric open it up like this okay open up the side if this pattern this style this way i just showed you we make it very easy for you to turn okay and then you turn the damn parts first okay you turn the damn parts this is the damn part the m of the garment you sew it and then it will bring you to the other side of the other front of your um, garment which is this after doing that you will now come to the side okay you will now come to the side and then you sew okay you sew it all the way around bringing you to the neck line okay this is the neck part okay as you can see this is the shoulder joining okay bringing you to the neck part sewing and then it will bring you back to the front and then to the bottom of the garment okay so when you are done you turn it out through your arm hole you turn it out through your arm hole okay through your arm hole you iron it properly and then you fix your sleeve this is the sleeve for it is a circle sleeve okay i'm going to drop a link to the to how i i, I came about this the circle flow sleeve is actually going to be double circle sleeve put together double okay like this okay i'm going to drop a link to how i cut the circle sleeve but eventually you don't know how to cut a circle sleeve and then you fix it to your arm or area and then we are done so guys this is the final look of the jacket we just made you see how beautiful it is looking all right guys do not forget to subscribe like and share see you in our next video